Latino evangelicals are this just group that's socially conservative, you know, pro-life, against gay marriage, they disagree with the Democratic Party. So that's this is what makes us unique. Dorothy, we're not in Kansas anymore. Look, we are not the normal white evangelical. We're not. Normal white. No, no, 87, <laughs> 80, 87, 87 percent Republican vote. Okay. All right? That's what it is. So we're not that group, and, and not speaking disparagingly about the white evangelical community, neither are we the African-American born-again community, 92% Democratic vote. We're, we're right there. We, we're complicated. We were the first evangelical group in American history, do your due diligence, to launch a global campaign in the early 2000s against the persecution and prosecution of the LGBT community around the world. There were African nations passing laws to imprison, some of them to execute, members of the LGBT community, the first evangelical group to rise up and say, that is so anti-God, so anti-Jesus, so anti the image of God, because every single member of the LGBT community is created in the image of God, we're gonna launch a global campaign to come against this, and Christians need to rise up. At the same time, without denying our biblical commitment to biblical scripture, as it regards to the sacred definition of marriage between one man and one woman. You can say, how can you have it both hands? Because we can because we can be both righteousness and justice, and that's what makes us unique. We're not Republicans, we're not Democrats, we are the fastest growing religious demographic in America, and I predict Latino evangelicals will be the quintessential independent voting bloc. 